for all daily at 6 a.m. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. We are so happy to have you with us this morning. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. My name is Tavon Thomas, pastor of the Brownstone District of Seventh-day Adventist Churches. Before we go into lesson number four, let us pray. Our kind of and Father, we thank you for a good night rest and for this opportunity that you have given unto us as we go through this morning's lesson. We pray that the Holy Spirit will lead, guide, and direct. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. As I've stated, we are at lesson number four, and today's lesson is entitled, Fear God and Give Him Glory. And the lesson for today is entitled, Fear God. And tell us, when people think about fearing God, the first thing that comes to their mind is to be afraid of God, to be scared of God. Because for some individual, individuals, they see God as a scary being. And all he wants to do is to kill us when we sin. But if the truth be told, he is a God of love who loves his people. It is the same God in Isaiah 1 verse 18 saying, let come, let us reason together. The New Testament, the, the Greek New Testament word for the word fear in Revelation 14 verse 7 is phobia. It is used here not in a sense of being afraid of God, but in a sense of reverence, awe, and respect. It conveys the thought of absolute loyalty to God and full surrender to his will. Because when we fear God, we will be obedient to him. It is an attitude of mind that is God-centered rather than self-centered. It is opposite to Lucifer's attitude in Isaiah 14, verses 13 and 14, when he says, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit in the mount of the congregation on the furthest side of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Moses. Instead, it is the attitude of Christ, who, though being in the form of God, humbled himself and became obedient even to the point of death. Philippians 2, verses 6 and 8. The essence of the great controversy revolves around submission to God. Lucifer was self-centered. He refused to submit to any authority except his own. Rather than submit to the one upon the throne, Lucifer desired to rule from the throne. Put simply, to fear God is to place him first in our thinking. It is to renounce our, our self-centeredness and pride and to live a life holy for him. And it is obviously it must be important because it's the first of the words out of the mouth of the first angel of the three because the first angel first angel message is all about fearing god therefore it is very important for us to fear him to respect him and not to be afraid of him because the god that we serve is a god who loves and cares for his children and he will do everything and almost anything in his power to save us and that my friends is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Our oh, Father, we are so grateful that you have given unto us understanding as it relates to how to fear you. We pray, dear Lord, that you will help us to allow you to be centered in our lives, Father. We thank you for this opportunity. Bless us throughout today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Thank you very much, Onik and Ital, for joining us tomorrow and throughout the week as we see the lessons that we can glean from today, this week's lesson on how we should fear God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.